Hello. In the previous video, we talked about the relationship between bandwidth and gain of an amplifier. In this video, we are going to talk about the relationship between uh, bandwidth and rise time of an amplifier. And uh, what do we mean by rise time? Well, rise time is the time to, that it takes the output of an amplifier to go from an initial value to a final value. Uh, typically, the way we measure it is by applying a step input uh, to make sure that any delays in the output to get to its final value are due to uh, the bandwidth of the amplifier as opposed to delays in the input. So if I have an input signal, let's call it VI as a function of time, uh, that looks like a step function, meaning it is equal to zero, and then after some point in time, t sub zero, it reaches a value of capital VI for the, the amplitude of that input signal. So mathematically, I could express this as uh, VI equals V in its amplitude times U, the stem function of T minus T0. Then the output that I expect to get, if I'm running into uh, exclusively bandwidth limitations, no slew rate limitations, um, it's a response of the following shape. It will be, I put it in a different color. At time t0, my output signal will go from 0 to its final value, which I can represent as uh, capital V out for final value. And that final value, uh, it's going to be equal to the out capital will be the closed loop gain times the, the final value of the input VI. Now, um, important thing to notice, if this is uh, just the effect of a bandwidth limitation, notice the shape of the output signal. So it's the shape of a, a decaying exponential, negative exponential function, right? Because uh, our V out is going to be of the form uh, ACL, the closed loop bandwidth, times V in, 1 minus e to the negative uh, omega c times t, where omega c is the, uh, the cutoff frequency or the uh, closed loop bandwidth. And so I can also express this as ACL times V i, uh, 1 minus e to the negative, and the closed loop bandwidth. Um, it's omega c, or we can also express it in terms in hertz, which uh, or in terms of the bandwidth in hertz, which will be two pi uh, closed loop bandwidth VWCL uh, times t. And that this just comes from the step response of a first order low pass filter. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the general expression for the equation. Uh, it was V out is equal to uh, V out infinity, it's a steady state value, plus the transient value V out of zero minus V out of infinity e to the negative t divided by tau. Uh, so anyway, that's the relationship above is what uh, it will be for this particular case. Now, the uh, rise time typically expressed as TCL, or at least that's the rise time due to the bandwidth limitation. Um, we, we know that it is going to be, or we can observe experimentally, that it's going to be inversely proportional to the closed loop bandwidth. And in reality, it can be approximated as 0.35 divided by the closed loop bandwidth in seconds. And so, for example, if I had two amplifiers, one with a particular uh, closed loop bandwidth and another one with a different closed loop bandwidth, this is more or less uh, the difference in responses. So this will be one with uh, bandwidth closed loop number two, and the orange will be an amplifier with a closed loop bandwidth BWCL number one, where um, the closed loop bandwidth of the first amplifier is greater than the closed loop bandwidth of the second. And 
we can observe that also in the faster rise time. Now, um, technically speaking, the rise time is defined as the time it takes the output signal to go from 10% of its final value to 90% of its final value. So um, this will be the time that it takes to go from this point, where this will be 0.1 times the final VO, capital VO, to this point over here, which is when you reach 90%, so 0.9 times the final VO. Um, now we can put together a table and see uh, what will be the rise time expected for uh, a non-inverting and an inverting amplifier of different, uh, different gains under four different bandwidths. So let's imagine for the non-inverting amplifier, kind of like we did um, earlier for the bandwidth, the non-inverting amp and the inverting amp. Um, and let's imagine, I guess we can tabulate the uh, closed loop gain. What will be the closed loop bandwidth? And therefore, what will be the expected rise time due to the bandwidth limitation, TCL? And that's we are going to approximate it as 0.35 divided by the closed loop bandwidth using our equation above. And so for, um, we can say for a gain of 800, as we did before, a gain of 10 and a gain of 1. We calculated earlier the closed loop bandwidths for uh, a 741, we said. So I'm going to say this is an example with a 741 where um, FT is 1 megahertz or 10 to the 6 hertz. So we have calculated our closed loop bandwidths to be uh, 10 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, and 1 megahertz. And from that, we can just directly apply that equation and calculate our rise times as uh, 35 microseconds, 3.5 microseconds, and 0.35 microseconds. So you can see how they're all related. And so as we uh, decrease the gain, we gain more bandwidth, and therefore we have a faster amplifier, we're going to decrease the rise time as well. And the uh, same thing for the inverting amplifier, I have a closed loop gain, let's say negative 100, negative 10, negative 1, a corresponding closed loop bandwidth. And I can calculate the rise time due to the bandwidth limitation with my approximation 0.35 divided by the closed loop bandwidth. And so in the first case, um, we have calculated 99 kilohertz. 90.9 kilohertz um, and this doesn't seem this was 9.9 .9 kilohertz that's what doesn't seem right 9.9 .9 kilohertz 90.9 .9 kilohertz and 500 kilohertz and therefore, our values for uh, TCL will be 35.3 microseconds, so very close to the non-inverting amplifier for a, for a large gain. Um, 3.85 microseconds, so about 10% larger than the non-inverting amplifier for a gain of 10, and uh, 0.7 microseconds, so almost double than that of the non-inverting amplifier for a gain of negative 1 because of the um, lower bandwidth of the inverting amplifier. Um, notice that uh, if you take a look at the data sheet for an op amp, um, a lot of the time when they express the, the small signal bandwidth, they will have a note in the data sheet in the EC table, uh, which basically tells you that, oh, the bandwidth was uh, calculated using this expression. Uh, TCL equals a 0.35 over, over bandwidth, or the message of bandwidth equals 0.35 over TCL. And what they're basically telling you is that in order to characterize or test ex experimentally the bandwidth of the amplifier, what they are doing is uh, they're measuring the rise time because it is uh, an easier thing to measure. And so they are applying 
as close as possible to a step input and they're measuring the rise time or the time it takes for the output to go from 10% uh, of its final value to 90% of its final value and then from there back calculating the bandwidth. Um, and that's it. Later on uh, we're going to be talking about a slew rate limitation and we're going to see how slew rate also imposes a limit on the rise time. Thank you.